She called softly after it. Mouse, dear, do come back again. We won't talk about cats or dogs if you don't like them. When the mouse heard this, it turned around and swam slowly back to her. Its face was quite pale with passion, Alice thought, and it said in a low, trembling voice, Let us get out to the shore, and then I'll tell you my story, and you'll understand why it is I hate cats and dogs. It was high time to go, for the pool was becoming quite crowded with birds and other animals that had fallen into it, while Alice and the mouse had been talking. There were a duck, a lorry, and a dodo, as well as lots of other animals. Alice led the way, and the whole party swam to the shore together. Chapter 3. A Caucus Race and a Long Tail They were indeed a peculiar-looking party that assembled on shore. The birds with ruffled feathers, the animals with their wet fur, and all of them dripping wet, cross, and uncomfortable. The first question, of course, was how to get dry again. They discussed this, and after a few minutes, it seemed quite natural to Alice to find herself talking familiarly with them, as if she had known them all her life. Indeed, she had quite a long argument with the lorry, who was quite sulky and would only say, I am older than you, and must therefore know better. This Alice did not like. She would not allow such a statement to stand without knowing how old the lorry actually was. Unfortunately, since the lorry refused to tell its age, there was no more to be said. At last, the mouse, who seemed to be a person of authority among them, called out, Sit down, all of you, and listen to me. I'll soon make you dry enough. They all sat down at once in a large ring, with the mouse in the middle. Alice kept her eyes anxiously fixed on it, for she felt sure she would catch a bad cold if she did not get dry very soon.